When we talk about the visas, we talk about the different types of visas that can help you access different countries or when you are applying to go to those countries. Remember, we talk about the privilege and we talk about that responsibility. We talk about the privilege of being given what we call a visa. And remember, for most of the people that have been coming to these Gulf countries, some of them have what you call the, the visa waiver. The visa waiver is that they only need to take what you call visas on arrival. That is depending on which kind of agreement or bilateral agreement one country has with another country. In today's video, we are going to look at the Qatar, we are going to look at the change in the visa on arrival requirements for three nationalities. And what nationalities are, nationalities are we talking about? We are talking about those nationalities whose visa on arrival have been amended, amended in such a way that new requirements are supposed to be fulfilled for them to have those visas or for them to get those visas. Let us go straight into the video. As per the Ministry of Internal Affairs or Ministries of Internal Affairs in Qatar has amended the requirements of what you call the visa on arrival for three nationalities. The three nationalities we are talking about, we are talking about for people coming from Pakistan, people coming from uh, uh, Iran and people coming from India. If you are if you are one of those travelers with the passports that are coming from those countries, the new rules, there are new rules that are being stipulated that you are supposed to follow or you're supposed to fulfill before you can get a visa on arrival in Qatar. As per the amendments that we are being discussed or we are put in, in place. And remember, these amendments are going to be are going to be effected starting on April 14th of this year what does it mean at this time that for you if you are either coming from india if you are a national of iran and if you are a national of pakistan for you to get a visa on arrival first of the requirement is that you have to book a hotel we call it discover qatar hotel booking and what does it mean that that is going to be one requirement for you to get that visa on arrival that booking the hotel booking you are supposed to to, to book that hotel under what you call discover qatar website it is under that website that you book a hotel but remember booking that hotel for that visa it should be exactly for the duration of the time you are going to stay in qatar for example if you are going to stay in qatar for six months then that hotel booking or the voucher that is being booked for that hotel you're going to stay it should be strictly for that duration of time and remember the ministry father says that the minimum time for you to book a hotel should be two days that is part of the new requirement that you're supposed to have so what does it mean that if your nationality coming from those countries that is what is one of the requirements before you even think of buying a ticket. You think you need to first book a hotel under what you call the Discover, uh, Discover Qatar website, strictly under that website that you can book a hotel where it's going to act as your accommodation. And the minimum period should be, that is, should be in two days as per the rigors, the, the latest amendments per, per the government. And remember, still this applies even if when you are going to come on what you call a family visit visa, when you're going to come on a family uh, visit visa or you're visiting a family in Qatar that you are related to, you are still supposed to book a hotel in that specific time that you are going to stay in Qatar. Those are the new rules and the new requirements that are coming into effect. And remember, something that was something that was added by the ministry is that you are no you cannot book up a hotel you cannot book up your flight before you book up the hotel it is that voucher when you go to discover qatar you choose a hotel, hotel that you need to book you'll book for that specific number of days that you're going to stay in the country and a voucher will be given to you that voucher 
per the ministry of per the, the migration it is one way ticket that will enable you coming to country we are normally only talking about those countries that receive visas or that have visas or can get visas on arrival but this time there uh, the first phase of it all is looking at uh, three nationalities we are looking at iran we are looking at uh, indian passport holders then we are also looking at what we call um, the pakistan passport holders so that is going to be the requirement and remember the hotel the hotel should only be purchased under discover Qatar. the accommodation you are booking should be under discover Qatar and should be with a minimum of two days however the ministry still stresses it that that for any extension it can be extended but that extension of that visa should be in line with your accommodation requirement or within that period of the booking that you fulfilled at the same time i'll just read through a small thing of what the ministry actually said on its website the ministry of interior amended the requirement for the visa on arrival for indian and iran Pakistani nationals. They will need to book a hotel through what you call the Discover Qatar website for the entire duration. Discover Qatar website will immediately effect starting bookings on the visa arrival for the family, for, for you visiting a family in Qatar, and it will be specific for that required duration of the stay. Remember, effective from April 14, 2022, the Minister of Interior for the state of Qatar has mandated that all nationals with a passport issued in India, Iran, and Pakistan will require to meet the additional requirements in order to receive a visa on arrival. Remember, the visit, the visitor who is coming to Qatar either is visiting a family must purchase a hotel accommodation from the discover Qatar website still further to learn further further to add as per the ministry the the visa length will the visa length will have to match with the duration of the time or the duration of the hotel booking that you are going to stay in that hotel thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for subscribing if it's your first time to come across and subscribe this channel please consider subscribing by the way don't forget to hit that notification bell it's always very important to update you wherever i upload a new video if you think the video is very helpful don't forget to give up a thumbs up because it will be the only way that i'll be motivated to make more and make more content thank you so much see you again in the next video